The final task for this project is to let the user assign favorites to resorts they love. This is mostly straightforward using techniques we've already covered. First, we'll make a new favorites class that has a set of resort IDs the user loves. We'll give this thing add, remove, and contains methods that manipulate the data, while also saving any changes off to user defaults. Then, we'll inject an instance of the favorites class into the environment, and we'll add some new UI to call the appropriate methods. Now, Swift sets already contain methods for adding, removing, and checking for an element. We're gonna add our own around them, so we can call a save method that makes sure the user's changes are persisted. This in turn means we can mark the favorite set itself using private access control, so we can't accidentally bypass our methods and miss out on saving. So, start making a new Swift file, call this one favorites.swift. Replace this foundation import with Swift UI, and then give it this code. At observable, oops, there's no brace there, class favorites. First, we'll have the actual resorts user favorited. I'll say private var resorts is a set of strings. Then we'll have a key to remember which place in user defaults we're reading and writing from. So we'll say private let key is uh, favorites, uh, space, there we go, favorites. And then we'll have our initializer, which will load our save data. I'll for now just say in there, resort is empty. Then we'll have the methods to check containing and adding and so forth. So containing is simple, we'll do, do you contain uh, some resort? If you do, return me a Boolean true, otherwise Boolean false. This will be just passing on resorts.contains, resort.id. So basically pass it on to the set we're containing inside us. Then we'll have a method here to add resorts to our set uh, and save the change at the same time. So we'll say func add a resort here. We'll do resorts.insert, resort.id, and then call save. Not written yet, that's okay. Another one which will update, uh, sorry, remove the resort, resort from our set, then uh, save all those changes. This one's called remove, so we'll do func remove resort, uh, resorts.remove, that resort ID, and again, call that save method. And finally, we're gonna add the save method. So we'll just do write out all data. So I've clearly missed out the loading and saving code, right? We're gonna have in here, you know, load our save data and then save our data down here in save. So I've missed those things out and that's okay. Um, that will be your job to fill in shortly. We now need to create a favorite instance in our content view and inject it into the environment so all views can share it. And so over in content view, at a property up here, at state, private var favorites is a favorites object like that. Now, with that in place, we can inject it into the environment. We'll say uh, down for uh, our uh, navigation split view down here. Scroll all the way down, boom, there it ends. We'll say dot environment, our favorites. So it's going to the environment for absolutely everything. Every view inside, they'll get the same favorites object if it wants to read it out. And so it's attached to the animation stack, which means every view in there will get that favorite object if it wants to. So in our case, we care about resort view. In here, we're gonna read it out in here so we can say, yes, make me a favorite or not. So we'll make a, a new property up here somewhere, this'll do. Uh, at environment, favorites.self, var favorites. Favorites, there we go. So get the favorites in the environment, Doing that means we must also make sure we change our resort preview to inject the favorites object there too, otherwise it'll crash. Your Swift UI preview will not work anymore. Uh, and so just scroll down and uh, in your preview code here, just simply say dot environment is a new favorites object, just to keep it happy basically. Anyway, all this work hasn't really accomplished very much yet. Yes, the Favorites class is lower than the app starts, 
but isn't actually used anywhere despite having properties to store it. This is easy enough to fix. We're gonna add a button at the end of the scroll view in resort view, so users can either add or remove the resort from their favorites, and then display a heart icon in content view for those favorite resorts. So in our scroll view, here in resort view, so our scroll view is this one here, boom. So just inside there, at the very bottom of the VStack, down here, we're gonna add a new view. So again, we've got our scroll view in the VStack, just inside there, so like here for me, we're gonna add our uh, button to toggle that state. So we'll say as a button, and for its label, I'll check whether favorites contains, contains our current resort. If it does, we'll say remove from favorites, otherwise we'll say add to favorites. And for its action again, it's flipping it around, we'll say if favorites contains a resort, then favorites that remove the resort. Otherwise, favorites dot add resort, like that. Now that it's a little bit clearer on the screen, we'll add a, a little button style to it. I'll use bordered prominent perhaps, and then a little bit of padding, for example. Um, but it's enough to hopefully work well. Let's see if our preview plays nicely. Uh, there we go, so it's all up here nicely. And now we can show a colored heart icon next to favorite resorts and content view. Uh, so over here, here's our resort listing right now. Uh, and we've got this country, we've got a uh, resort name and, and runs and so forth. We're gonna add after that V stack a check. Does our favorites set contain this resort, contains this resort? If it does, I'll place a spacer to push our views to one side and then say it's an image with system name of heart.fill. So it's a filled heart, this is a clearly a favorite thing here. I'll add to it an accessibility label saying this is a favorite resort. I'll add to that a foreground style of red. It's a bit of a nice red heart here. Uh, this foreground style of red works great. SF symbols are recolored dynamically. Let's press Command R and give it one last try. So I'll choose Squaw Valley, I scroll down, add the favorites, it tends to, to remove from favorites, I go back, and there's our heart icon nicely. That finishes our project, good job.